Paulette Watson, Tournament Director for the Tournament of the Americas. Tell me about this great bowling event. It's been running for a long time. We're here in Sunrise, Florida, South Florida. What is this about? What is it like? This tournament is 51 years old this year, one of the longest running and the, and the oldest one of its kind. It's held in the United States. It brings in the countries of the South Central Americas, North America, Caribbean. Uh, there are 25 countries that would be eligible to put a team in, and we have 13 of them this year, with other major tournaments before and after us. We're a little shy on the numbers. It costs them a great deal of money to come here and put a team in. The teams consist of five divisions, adults, two groups of juniors by age, and seniors and super seniors. Um, each team is made up by two men and two women. Then they bring their delegates, their coaches, their family members. We probably have this year with us over 350 people that came into town from somewhere else. There's no one local. They all come from somewhere. Fly in, spend a great deal of money while they're here, which makes the county and everyone very happy. Uh, their bowling is terrific. These are the best of their best. They qualify in their country. They're their national teams that are sent here. And all they're trying to get is that medal to take home. There's no money involved for their winning. The ages, too. Tell me the ages. They go from juniors to adults. What are the ages? We have the youngest from? to the oldest. Our ages for our junior B division are 12 to 15 year olds. Our next division of juniors are 16 to 19 year olds. Adults are kind of crossover ages because they could be younger or older. Our seniors, the men have to be 50, the women 45. And our super seniors, the men have to be 60 and the women 55. You are the third tournament director in the 51 years of this great event, this huge bowling event that brings in bowlers from, as you said, Central America, South America, the Caribbean. What are your thoughts? What do you enjoy most about this tournament? I think I enjoy most the, the fact that we get to meet people from all these countries and they all get together as a bowling family. In many of them, especially the smaller countries, they, they only have a small pool of really good bowlers that make their national teams. So we tend to see them, not necessarily year after year, but often year after year. So it's a family getting together, and then we just add new members to that family. Uh, we, I've, I've watched, I've been doing it oh, about 38 years now, and I have watched the juniors become the adults, the adults become the seniors, the seniors become the super seniors. As a matter of fact, we, we initiated the senior group not that many years ago, and the super seniors only two years ago, because as we find that these bowlers are coming up and aging, they still want to be part of the sport, and they, they do as well as they did when they were the adults. As a matter of fact, I believe the super seniors out all the seniors this year. How has this tournament helped bowling in some of those other countries? This tournament is known to them as the grandfather of all tournaments in the Americas. In most of those countries they didn't have bowling. So this was actually the start of their bowling industry and bowling as a sport. And they've gotten better and better, the smaller countries, and, and with more training that, that they're doing. And mostly they, they want to beat the Americans. The Americans have a huge pool of bowlers to choose their top 12 and the top 20 that are here for their five divisions. But the other countries, as I said, have a small pool of bowlers. So this year, talk about a small country, Bahamas came in third place and medaled in, in doubles and we'll probably have six pages of print in the Bahamas, <laughs> speaking of, uh, because they won a medal. They come here to win them. Thank you.